All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And here for you, Yu Yu Hakusho, Show, episode 72. 72. The exposition doth been given, mm -hmm. and the path forward is actually, well, really straightforward, and I really like it. Yeah, but how we go about this, um, mm -hmm. how we go about this expedition is going to be complicated. Uh, complicated because while we know that we have a psychic mm -hmm. that we need to stop from opening the way through right for the demon portal and we know where they are and we know where they are there's also the problem that they're obviously not working alone mm -hmm. and now it's also their home turf and yep the idea that our protagonists need to go and actually like explore and give a little bit of uh reconnaissance to this situation right he has split off from the group mm -hmm. which means he's going to be running his own kind of gig right now yep the antagonists are also looking for someone that can actually tear open the kakai barrier right that psychic can't do that and set up everything for the demon portal or that would be least, a bit much yeah. that would be the part that's the most important in making sure that they can actually bring through the higher class of demons which mm -hmm. by the way we now have classifications of demons which right. sets up all kinds of foundations for the future of this show in general mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah. And Taguro yeah. was just an upper B rank. Mm -hmm. yeah. A rank and S rank and even crazier and all yeah. that stuff. So that he's the strongest through. demon that they theoretically could face without anything changing with the status quo. Mm -hmm. Which is cons like, you know, it's, it's, it's concerning, concerning, but, but at it's the same time. Like, oh, okay, good. That's so manageable, if we, potentially. If we don't have to deal with this. Uh, demon portal thing then we could be fine because we'll just get stronger than <clears throat> what Taguro was at eventually right i'm sure he would get to the point relatively soon since there's just three weeks left where you know maybe he could take a Taguro one-on-one -on -one. like yeah probably i, I love how maybe. much this is just world building set up for like a show to go on theoretically forever which oh yeah is, yep. anytime you're doing some kind of a battle shonen it is very important that your world building be very sound in its foundational structure. Because if it's not, then that just means right. you're just pushing the problem, you know, 20, 50, 200 episodes down the line. Suddenly, power level 9,000 really doesn't seem like much at all. Nope. You know. Nope, not yeah. At all. But uh -huh. here we go. And uh, yeah, Genkai is going to be working with us. So oh, without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, these are our this squads. Is dumb. It's just a field. I feel like are sure this is the, the groups are not equally balanced. Yeah. Thing? Uh, Karama carries a lot of weight in this team. Right. Unless he's invisible, it's half of the like team grass, doesn't have powers. Not here either. Right now, we're standing on the circle center. The psychic has to be here. We just have to think. Unless if the man's not here on the surface, then obviously he must be below it. Yep. Underground. <laughs> Theoretically, oh. by looking at the barrier, you could hey, see how up? far. You see something? Damn, Karama's senses are on fire. Is, yeah. What saw us? What? Hmm. You mean someone what? was watching us? So they already know we're looking for them. Well, gentlemen, these stairs look happy enough. <laughs> Do you remember your lesson, Yusuke? Don't worry, I won't screw up. You would that indeed. Star Wars screw movies. Up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, cool. Are serious, man? They were running for their lives. How do we which know one? which one is it? Yeah. The one by themselves in the Three, pink shirt. Six possibles, plus the kitchen staff. Good. A a Consider the kitchen staff, too. Or hell, mm -hmm. maybe they're all needles. Yeah. It's true. If you guys want something from me, just ask. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Revealed himself. How generous. You must be some more power freaks. Hey, no, no trouble here, all right? I've got mouths to feed. <laughs> Easy, old man. I don't want trouble either. He's actually the decoy for the bartender who's the real bad guy. Right. Place. We're looking for the tunnel digging type. So you want to help us out or not? <laughs> tunnel? You must mean the one to demon world. <sighs> How'd you know? Don't sound so accusing. You're the one who told me. It's been running through your mind. That uh, must be the power he's got. I think he's a mind reader. Let's not jump the gun yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have known about the demons already, and that's now true. he's just trying to play us. Yeah, that's a good Could point. Be one of the real bad jerks we're looking for. 
Whoa, whoa. He's opening okay. up his territory. Yeah, and he just uses regular okay. punch attack. And... Yep. So that's what Yusuke was planning to do to you earlier. He knew. He right. really did read my mind. Don't call the police just to Oh, yeah, and he mentioned he knew the guy didn't have insurance. So, right. So. Anyone else game? I can use the practice for my future. See, I've already got a use for this talent I've developed. I'm going to be a boxer. And oh. since I'll know what right. my opponent's thinking, hmm. I'll win every time and rake in the candy. That actually helped. We know he's a real mind reader. Kudos for Keto. What if he could actually see the future? Yeah. If it turns out you're okay, we'll let you fight with us to save the world. <laughs> let him copy my hmm. brain, huh? It's the only way to check. Sorry, Cowboy. That's actually a good point. Don't yeah. Have any heroic aspirations. I'm much more interested in starting my fighting career. <laughs> this guy might not be with them at all. Needs. Yeah. Then how about I Just someone get first. someone getting powers, oh, you know? Mr. Genkai, isn't this what you warned him not to do? Don't you worry. He may look like a dimwit in fact he definitely I'll box you, is. spirit gun. <laughs> but he's also the dark tournament champ. The only way I'll hit you is with a straight right jab. Huh? But chances are I'll stop short. <laughs> we'll see about it. I Just love a shockwave it. from his punch yeah. knocks him back. Nothing. I'll throw a straight right jab at him. But stop short just before I hit his face. I'll throw a straight right jab at him. I'll stop short just before I hit his face. He's at and randing him. <laughs> yes! Yes! It is at and rand! Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Nice. What happened? I didn't see any contact. That was 30% of his power. <laughs> Can't say We're doing Taguro stuff now. Yep. Except for that whole shockwave thing. Okay, it's your turn. Let's see what this guy does on the weekends. Yeah, right. <laughs> cool. Cool. He transforms into the guy. And the bartender's just like, what the fuck just happened? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Got it. He doesn't know anything. Just yeah. a guy. Like just us. a guy. Yep. Let's yep. wake him. He could still be of some use to us. Totally. Is it cool if I take the rest of the day off, <laughs> boss? I think I'm losing my mind. A nightmare. Just a nightmare. <laughs> Humans with different special powers and use case kicking so much tail, and I'm the only one here you've called by name. <laughs> yeah. Cohen. Yes, Kurama. Report. W wow, wow. Sir, mm. I want a depth analysis on that center point. Sewers, caves, everything, Ayame. Ooh, okay. I course, like it. Sir. Yep. Go ahead by being useful. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It's uh, strange. And for a moment there, you made me feel special. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> So dramatic. The more intense the thought, the louder it sounds to me. Ah. Like it screamed over a crowded room. It's painful sometimes. Tough luck. This is Don't huge though for reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Check everyone's thoughts and tell us if you hear something weird. What's up? You found one? That girl. Is that Keiko? Oh. She's going to make out with her teacher. We've got to stop her or what? <laughs> so how's it coming along? Have you found anything out yet? The teacher hasn't shown up yet. Yeah. Yeah. I found something. Just tell me who he is and don't point. He's coming from the right. Tall guy in black. <laughs> His hair slipped back. All right. There it is. Oh shit. Damn it. We'll call that my introduction, Yusuke Yurameshi. 
All right. He's the leader. He has to be. Okay. Hey, He's dead. Do do? The hospital. Someone call an ambulance. Oh, and now he's, he's gone. gone. How is he? You think he'll make it? I don't know. Not many people survive a bullet to the brain. That's true, Yana. But he'll be fine. Why? This is the so-called bullet he took. Doesn't look like metal. Genkai, did you stop it's it? A pencil eraser. That's <gasps> crazy. Oh, the Aren't teacher. You? Yeah, yeah. How can we find Yusuke and your brother now, Shizuru? We can't even find Pooh. Chill, princess. <laughs> blue wonder fly off in this direction. God, I love her so much. My yep. brother. We can just follow the bugs. He's probably playing with them. <laughs> bugs? What bugs? Oh, hmm? uh, <laughs> nothing. Right. No wonder <laughs> she's not flipping out. Somebody's hurt. Uh, don't look now. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Either he's taking up ambulance chasing or Yusuke's inside. Wait, Keiko, we don't know for sure. All right, there you go. All right, we'll head to the hospital, okay. Whoa. Hello, sniper. Yusuke didn't follow you as planned. No, he kept his cool. I was most surprised. You get a sniper. Shadow I know. Group. He's waiting for orders, and Yusuke's team is entering the hospital. Doctor will intercept them shortly, as you've arranged. Names for their Based roles. Based on their powers. I yeah. like it. Our psychic has a problem with the Kakai. Yeah, bird. yeah. If he completes the tunnel, mm. the best destroyers won't be able to cross. We need another psychic to break the net. And we may have found one in this group. Who is it? You leave that business to me. Okay. In the meantime, let's get rid of the extras. Huh. Let's dig a hole, sniper. Each one of us. Seven graves will be a decent start. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. Black Angel, Gatekeeper, Sniper, Gourmet, Game Master, Doctor, and Seaman. Those were the words that came to his mind when he said the word seven. Sounds like nice. fun. I sensed it right when we met. There's something dangerous about him. And more than the usual people you deal with. Ugh. It's not what I sensed, though. It's what I didn't sense. Yeah. Like, who I saw wasn't the real thing. Whoa. Okay. You mean, the guy who was standing there isn't the one who shot him? Right, no, sniper. he didn't do anything right. at all. Then you noticed it as well. The angle was wrong. The shot came from five feet to the man's right. Oh, you damn! This was just a ghost signal. For whom? For yeah, Sniper. So who's yeah. the shooter? Let's examine what we do know. This Wait. eraser has faint demon trace marks. What if it was Apparently, the schoolgirl? The the no, they just had the guy say Sniper. No, but what if the schoolgirl was the Sniper? But too soft to pierce the skull. It was launched by Tyler. Oh, no, no, right, yeah, we already we met and talked to him, yeah. Seconds after the shot fired, I tried to trace it back towards its No edge. way! It was too far. It must have been ha, fired ha. from over 500 yards away. That's quite a few. Wow! That's All right! All fields. All with his mind? I love it. <laughs> no, enough! I didn't sign up for Yeah, this yeah, that's people. fair. I'm not a hero. Mm -hmm. I don't want to That's die. fair. Yeah. And this is Shit. Doctor. Yep, Doctor. Okay. Only hours into their infiltration of Mushiori City, Yusuke and his team have already I found like themselves this. in the uh -huh. of danger. But unexpectedly, it is they who are being hunted by seven enemies they do not know. In a city once dull and peaceful, a battle of worlds is poised to begin. I love this. I love awesome. this so much. Yeah, that, this is this cool. Is crazy. Like. It's. I feel like this is where Tagashi really shines with like just that that mystery stuff, you know? Right, right. Like it kind of feels like it has some of the some of the nuggets of like York New in here, where it's yeah, like, yeah. we're in a city, it's a set kind of location, but we don't know exactly what's going on. Lots of different players. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. All right. I'm got very X-Men excited now. for this arc. Yeah. <laughs> oh, huh. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that. Yeah. It's just, it's just they have. Oh, you're using our made-up names now. Oh, I'm right, right, Spider-Man. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. <laughs> I am a seaman. I mean, a seaman. You know. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, oh. hey, it works. It adds to that level of mystique and mystery. Mm-hmm. And let's be real. This guy, it kind of makes sense for him to be thinking of his pawns as just the roles that they fulfill, you mm-hmm. know, rather than necessarily their individual names. Although he does also refer to them as such. So, you know, there's that too. But yeah, I, I'm I'm really curious as to like having a having a team that mm-hmm. they're up against being something where we'll maybe have them as more like obstacles and puzzles to overcome mm-hmm. rather than them ever fully operating as a team in the same like space you know or if because they're so different they might occupy different territories if you will of the city right. and thus providing you know little one off mm-hmm. you know encounters of sorts right but i really hope that they end up being used in tandem i would love like, that too yeah like rather than it just being okay one of them's over here one of them's over right there. the two teams will fight different territory users different weeks you know and then right yeah uh-huh yeah but uh, uh, they are bringing the they are bringing understand. the teams together but they're also slowing down the pacing in a very cool mm-hmm. way by making every little action have meaning and weight and yep. value and also Ooh. this was a this was a very very fun way to um address the potential issue of how do we find out stuff about the baddies true if you have a bunch of people developing psychic powers because of the shenaniganery that is afoot right right then um yeah you run into somebody that can read minds yeah there you go there and you then go. you just say hey help us find the baddies right yep. and because it's telepathy yeah. and the enemy doesn't know that they got someone with telepathy nope you have a reason for why the bad guys would still exposit kind of to the main characters certain bits of information, but not too much about their abilities right. because they don't know that it's happening. Right? right. And Sniper is definitely the most obvious as to how does their power work? Well, they shoot things from very far away, but we right. also use that ability. So that's fine. If they mm-hmm. just know that they're constantly under the potential threat of Sniper fire, that mm-hmm. just is going to make them move slower or yep. maybe a little bit more cautiously. And this also and is... And all the other powers aren't really obvious from the names. Nope. But it is also one of those things where it both makes a nod at, like, my my usual beef with snipers in stories, while at the same time circumventing it. Because usually with snipers in stories is that they're never used to actual consequence, right? right. Because then it, that's kind of boring. It's just, oh, someone's dead all of a sudden. Sure. Shit, you know, right? So instead, it's the... They do their sniping thing. It doesn't actually kill the person, but no, 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 no. This was about sending a message, you mm-hmm. know, so that's why it, it didn't happen. They weren't actually trying to kill the telepath. And there were also two angles to this as well. Mm-hmm. Um, Sensui, I believe is his name, yeah. um, was trying to antagonize Yusuke to follow him mm-hmm. because their data on him suggests that he would be the kind of person that would get riled up easily right. over someone being basically taken advantage of in that way and hey what do you know that's literally what genkai just used with the the three dudes yeah. earlier and so now yusuke's not doing that so it's right. like hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah planned around your plan with our previous plan that we exactly prepared to plan because nobody knows the knucklehead of yusuke urameshi better than genkai yeah that's true yeah. not even keiko I mean, especially not Keiko. Especially not Keiko. Kuwabara knows Kuwabara Yusuke probably. better than Keiko. Yeah, like, and maybe more than Genkai, but, but you know. That's possible. It's possible, yeah. Yep. Okay, all right. Having these names, though, Black mm-hmm. Angel, Gatekeeper, Sniper, Game Master, Gourmet, Doctor, and Seaman. Okay, I, these, mm. these do feel like superhero names, but I also want to throw out the idea that they do have actual names, and this guy, because he knew he'd be dealing with people like Genkai, he might have picked code names yep. so that actually they're planning around telepathy. Potentially, yeah. But they cause... need to have something that it, like, it signifies and identifies what they are. And literally the only one that I would say they have an idea of... Is doctor? Is maybe doctor. Because then it's like search is... hospitals or something. Or not even that, but like maybe that's their support person. That's their, that's their healer. That's their... Um, yeah their surgeon you know however Mm. you want to connect the things with that it still wouldn't matter if it comes down to the difference of 
someone uses their ability and you're half a second or two seconds too late to respond to it, they right. start whittling your numbers down mm -hmm. and showing how easily they non-lethally struck this guy. Right, and um, removed him from the equation because, okay, he was sort of begrudgingly going along with what they were doing. But now he's not motivated But he's certainly not all. now. He, he is... Uh, Anti-motivated. Yeah, exactly. Demotivated. Right. He's going to do whatever he can to stay far away from this whole situation. I, I'm curious to see if we'll end up in a situation where Yusuke or Genkai or any of them will just try and like level with him and be like, this is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to stand to aside and sure. not let and let that happen? Do you have anyone here in the city that you care about? Or in the world, in the theoretically? World? Well, <laughs> right, but even then, just the city in and of itself, mm -hmm. like... No, like, I'm just going to bugger off and try and train for boxing. Mm -hmm. Buddy, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm kind of excited that his character is in the story because he's the one that can be shocked, surprised, and scared mm -hmm. at everything. Yep. And he's yep. not Keiko. <laughs> yes. <And> like... <laughs> And Honestly. also, it's um, it's it's someone that develops powers that's not a kid, mm -hmm. you know that yeah. that's something that I really appreciate. Like yeah. as far as just making the world feel more lived in and real and stuff. Sure. Yes, they would run into just random people who get powers, and they're like, "What am I gonna do with this? I guess I'll become a boxer because I can read minds, and you know, I have a decent physique and stuff." So there, there, there you go. Sure. You know, right? Yeah. I'll I'll be able to beat tons of people. This definitely feels like Tagashi's Nen earlier stuff of where mm -hmm. he mentions in hunter hunter about how some of the greatest craftsmen or artists or sports players are just people that are subconsciously using nen or something right, exactly just yep. you know coming to that 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 peak point of mm -hmm. their 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 skill their passion their craft right. so okay all right we've got a you've got a battle line situation drawn up Jacob. indeed yes we do yeah mm -hmm. i I, I was not visible. I, I wouldn't have made that that reference. But... I mean, it is in the territory kind of setup. You oh, walk okay, no, into yeah, the, no, that's all right. All right across that's... these lines, battle is no, yeah, taking place. That that is a good point. It's like that a Pokemon kind of thing of like, oh, what's what's power? What territory mm -hmm. will you summon out? Well, and again, mine? that's where I feel like this has a lot of my favorite elements of uh, the York New Arc mm. because we don't know who all of the enemy is, right? Because we didn't even know what a lot of the Phantom Troop members looked like necessarily nope. right out the gate. We had silhouettes. Yep, we had silhouettes. Yep. We don't know what they can do necessarily, but we have hints, mm -hmm. and our characters are needing to do more of an investigative type mission rather yeah. than just a kick down the door and take names, right? Right. Because that wouldn't work. So we can mm -hmm. have a lot more... <sighs> circumventing and like like just i don't know like like roundabout ways of dealing with the conflict mm -hmm. that could be really fun yeah so we take ass before we kick names yes that's yeah. right yeah, yeah that's right um speaking of which they found out that the area that psychic is in is underground yep Kalema cool. doing a scan is a cool little like delay thing that will make it so they can't immediately go mm -hmm. to the spot where the psychic is right i so, am curious though right. if they end up using the fact that like since it's a dome you could also, I don't know if this would necessarily be relevant, but you okay. could know the depth based on how high the dome is to the radius, you know, like on the ground. So Oh, the math involved? Or wait, or no. No, you wouldn't. Never mind, because the dome could keep getting bigger underground. Right. I'm sorry. That yeah. was silly. Yeah. I was, no, like, I was like, I was trying to like, I was trying to give you wait. the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, no, no. It's possible. No, you could actually by the by, slope. No, I don't no, you couldn't. That, I don't no, no, yeah, work. yeah, no, yeah. no, never mind. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's yeah. okay. It's okay, Jacob. I'm not a mathematician either, you know. Uh, it's it's right. geometry, Caleb. It's not. <laughs> that no. is actual math. Don't, no, no I now know. I'm yeah. about to get. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, in, in terms of having Yusuke, though, being the cool leader that takes charge and mm -hmm. handles things, it was a fun thing to see Genkai respect him, but not only that, reminding us that, yes, this guy won the Dark Tournament. Indeed. Just, just just remember that. Right. <laughs> Even though he is the same knuckle-headed, bone-headed teen, mm -hmm. he still went through all of that. Oh, yeah. So we're using the percentage numbers for Yusuke now because he is kind of at that Taguro level. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also, yeah. very important information was dropped. Yes. Apparently, one of the people in their group could theoretically break the Kekai barrier. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the thing. Seaman did not disclose who it was. Seaman, <laughs> yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Point is, the name has not been given to us, the audience, but mm -hmm. me and Caleb, Caleb and I, mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. both have an idea of something that would be hilariously awesome and funny. Because we still think, I still think it's going to be be a sword. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be here. Could be Kurobara. Could be Kurobara. Because, like, okay, the, the straightforward one would be Genkai, but she gave up her powers, right? Well, like, Genkai she would... still has powers. No, no right. But like, yeah, yeah. but, like, she doesn't have, like, oomph behind her powers. No. Like, she has techniques, right? Yeah, yeah. So... Other, if, if she did, I would think it would be Genkai, right? Oh, we need a powerful psychic. Hmm, I wonder, you know, who they're talking well, also, about. Also, Genkai would be stupid enough to do that. Exactly, right? Either way, this is probably something where they're going to need to get into some kind of coercion game. Either coercion or misdirection, so that that way the person potentially mm-hmm. breaks the barrier without knowing. But, this is the other thing. Yep. The barrier is in the demon world. Don't, don't you need to have that person... No, it's not, it's not demon in the world? demon world. No, no, it's around it's around the human world. Oh, I thought it was on the I thought it was on the halfway point of the well, of the I mean, top layer of the demon world. Then it's world. not in the demon world, it's in the halfway point, you know. It's, no, it's no, protecting no. the human no, no, world. Do so you the, want it as close to as no, no, possible? The, the um the Kakai barrier? Oh no, yeah, I guess yeah, if, like, if yeah, if they have the if they have the 50% of the top layer of the demon world, that doesn't necessarily mean that the barrier is there because they'd want no. the barrier to no. Not need to move every time they, want they a take front more. line situation. That's right, where right. I think Koenma's father is, is he's going and basically like right. <laughs> doing Fighting. his whole thing, probably, you know. Yeah, people in the demon world. Yeah. He's probably probably like some kind of traitor or something like that to the demon world where they're like, oh, this, this guy's guy, back again. Yeah. Uh-huh. This demon is like being Why all do you like, keep yeah. cock blocking our fun? Like right, right, right. <laughs> claiming that whole layer of the world for yourself, you know. Right how greedy of you mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so so i would say if anything the kakai barrier is something that's very easy to access through from this side very much like you know it's it's a border sure. security kind of thing right leaving the u.s oh that's that's easy go through customs getting or back oh yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but given that this the person that they might need is in the group mm-hmm. what are they going to do to try and make that happen i i still think it's going to be he yeah I still think it's going to be Hiei. I think this is just the cleverness of having a antagonist that is primarily a mental threat mm-hmm. rather than a obvious physical threat. Right. His design is one that is, I would say, primarily meant to look like a live infiltrator. So I would say he's someone that seems to be uh, quiet and subtle. And then he's already been described as a baseball pitcher which is fun because then Genkai actually oh. threw back that terminology with Yusuke to mm-hmm. be saying that, yeah, he throws curveballs rather than right. fastballs. But not only that, he's a closer. He's going to save mm-hmm. that pitch for the very which, last inning. And I'm like, oh, I love... that's, that's very funny in a meta sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because Tagashi is basically saying, hey, you know how I've ragged on a bunch of shonen, battle shonen tropes that bug me? Well, I'm going to be using one here because it's in character for it to happen. And that's that this person will absolutely be concealing their ultimate technique for yeah. the very end, right? right? Because of course they will, right? Of course they will. Yeah. It actually makes sense in this case. Uh-huh. But I'm going to obviously poke fun at it because uh, <laughs> I can. <laughs> right. Right, right. Mm-hmm. But all in all, that's basically what we got this episode because the pacing slowed down quite a bit and we were using a lot of that time to introduce an example of what a territory fight would be like when someone really doesn't know how to utilize their abilities with territory because they think they're hot shit and that was really funny to be like yeah ah, he's clearly not with them because he's doing everything genkai said the enemy wouldn't do because right. that's just the smart thing to do so this mm-hmm. guy's like huh, you're coming after me aren't you it's like wow you literally just made that part easy right and then and uh <laughs> i'm gonna see i'm gonna know exactly what you're doing yep yeah. I already yeah. know you don't have insurance. Like, that was a funny kind of joke, you know, mm-hmm. of like, okay, being so considerate to, like, the owner of the bar. Like, don't worry, we won't trash your place. <laughs> like, that, that's just great. <laughs> it's just fun, yeah. And, oh, and by the way, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah, that, that kind of consideration is actually exactly the sort of thing that I would love to see from a villain, like, from oh, yeah. from a full-on villain, you know? Because it could be done for comedy, but at the on the other hand, it's the serious side of, like, Taguro, yeah. where it's the no one needed to die today, you know? but Yeah, yeah humanity no that's a plague upon it but but oh you your livelihood no no no. obviously that's that's none of my business i respect the hustle you do you and you know you own that that. sigma male grind set (laughs) but 
everybody that you know is against my vision or what have you There's they a, need to go i'm going the people to, in power i'm going to yes. step on the graves of their children you know mm -hmm. and like that was actually a, another fantastic way to give like exposition but instead of it being about like their powers just being sure. about the person of the antagonist yeah and again the antagonist had a feeling that they would be able to suss out who he was right but didn't know about the telepathy yeah. so this is there is no acting that he's putting on here nope. unless he's acting to himself which would be weird so that's actually just how he is and how he thinks right. which is wonderfully terrifying as yes. a setup for an antagonist because after someone like Taguro you like you don't want him to just be like I don't know. Like, it could be easy for him to not feel threatening after Tagoro. Yes. This yes. guy feels very threatening. Right. So he very much does. Yeah. But okay, that's 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 where we're going. Sea right. man. Sea man. God damn it. <laughs> I mean, what's worse, Sea man or Black Angel? Like, no, no, Black Angel. No, Black Angel is is excellent. That is like the peak of like like edgy just like edgy chuny like uh, yeah uh-huh uh, yeah i am purple actually angel. wait no so there was there was actually a um, i am blue angel no. and together to or no sorry to it was it was dark angel there was a there was a yes. D, D character in a dimension 20 campaign yes. where they basically were just an edgy teen from hot topic that ended up going into like warlock uh-huh and they were i'm dark angel dark angel <laughs> fantastic so i'm very excited to meet black angel i'm sure they're very serious and badass mm. and i'm know. sure they're the one child in their group yes because they very much they, seem to be no, of the silhouettes there seemed yeah to be there, one there was, was one like that there was one that was small and that's why like i was kind of like wait no it'd just be like tagashi to be like no this this school girl that's waiting All to right. make out with her teacher is actually gut like instincts, one of the enemy. gut instincts as to what their abilities are Black Angel is something with regards to like some kind of stealth kind of thing. That's that's my thing. Like some kind of like, like. But that's like, Seaman's like job invisible. apparently. Well, no, 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 no. Seaman is the one. Seaman that... sees men. That's what it obviously is. He, he he can obviously see whatever he wants to see oh, as long God. as they're a man. You know. No, Seaman is good at stealthing. Um, Anyways, gate, gatekeeper. That's I just, just an to, anime fan. Yeah, that's just an anime fan. <laughs> um, but no, I think they could be having like the door door fruit. Basically, I could see that being pretty uh, cool. sure. Um, game master. I want that just to literally be a Greed Island reference. Yeah, I, I just, just want that to be like actually Tagashi, uh, yeah, just yeah. in Yu Yu Hakusho. That'd be great. Gourmet. I would love Cannibal. to have this be gamble. Cannibal. Oh, cannibal. Mm -hmm. How is that a territory power? I don't know. They eat <laughs> shit. Like. <laughs> Like it's <laughs> the loathsome dung eater. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's that's what we'll go there. That's the loathsome dung eater. The doctor I want to say is their support, mm. or is someone that can basically like suss out weaknesses. I want the doctor to be the creepy one. So doctor, you think healer, right? But yeah, I want you to go fast. I want to heal. Go through the poisoner or like you know like oh. things like that. That's that's what I want from oh, the doctor. Like yeah, pharma. Okay, mm -hmm. creepy. Yeah, and then seaman just yeah. He sneaks it in. He's got a <laughs> tissue power. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I it's mean, just going to be that he's like able to manipulate the water in his blood in no, order to be hey, quiet or something. The, the, but but know. from what we saw of Seaman following them, he was fully covered, so he does know to use protection. <laughs> that is true. That is true. You know? The best protection is not being seen at all. Stealth piece. <laughs> I don't know. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there. And all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. <laughs> <laughs> stream every weekday the info's in the description yes yeah, so if any of that interest you will see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm seaman and we'll seaman you all next time